Hi, so this is my 3D printed um, water fountain. So I've made it out of an old cable drum with an inner tube to provide the flotation and the nozzle is 3D printed and it's a 12 volt pump hanging underneath it that provides the water. The, um, the system, it works on a timer so it uh, runs for 30 seconds and then it uh, goes off for three minutes and that gives enough time for the solar system to charge it up which I'll have a look at in a minute. So it's in our little garden pond and this is our garden pond and it was which we made out of a recycled concrete pipe which some civil engineers um, damaged I think so um, we recycled it and turned it into a garden pond. Um, we've got fish in the pond I think you can see one here here just swimming about it's just disappeared there's a few in here um so i thought we'd put the fountain in to keep the water aerated because um we used to have a another one here which was just a sort of cheapo amazon one which um was basically rubbish so um, i decided that we could make something better ourselves so i thought the 3d printed nozzle which will zoom in here so um details on my instructables how that's made and then it's all supported on a plywood disc which was recycled from an old cable drum and then the flotation is an old wheelbarrow in a tube from a damaged wheelbarrow again recycled and we're powering it from renewable energy so this is the solar system so the solar power charges it up I don't know whether you can see very well inside the control panel but we've got a little solar ch homemade solar charging circuit and then an Arduino that does the timer. It also has a light sensor on it that detects when it's daylight, so the pump can only run when it's daylight. And it also only runs when um, there's enough battery power. So we've got a voltage divider that divides the 12 volts into three. So we then monitor the four volts and if it dips below four volts, we don't run the pump so that we can allow it to recharge without wearing everything out. Um, the solar panel, I think is 10 watt or 20 watts actually. So that should be okay. Um, the power supply is um, uses a buck converter because that's obviously a lot more efficient than the Arduino linear regulator on board. Um, so that's nearly three minutes elapsed, it should come on again soon. If you look, what I've done is I've tethered it in three places around the pond using this white cord. Hopefully the um, cord will either discolour over time or I think I might replace it with something a little bit darker so that it doesn't stand out so much. The fish, fish don't seem that worried about it. Um, so here we go, on again for another 30 seconds and that should um, keep the water nice and fresh. So thanks for watching, take a look at the Instructable to see how I put it all together.